Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be working with Azure CLI and we will be learning what exactly Azure CLI and how best we can install on any of the operating systems. And then we will try to create a virtual machine with the help of Azure CLI commands. So as we talked about in the previous uh, introduction of this overview lecture, we talked about Azure CLI is one of the management tool. With this, uh, we can use uh, and we can create, we can work with any of the Azure resources or Azure services. So what exactly is Azure CLI? Azure CLI is a command line tool providing a great experience for managing Azure resources. So the CLI is designed to make your scripting easier and you can query data, you can support long running operations and more and more uh, with the CLI. So this CLI can be installed on Windows operating systems or literally on your Mac OS or Linux Windows. So it is going to support almost all the operating systems. So what we'll do is we will start with um, installing Azure CLI on one of the Windows box and then we will start connecting and we will be trying to create the virtual machine with the given command lines. You can go back to this one of the page and try to install those binaries on one of your Windows uh, machine. So in my case, I'm going to actually install on this PC. Uh, so you can click here to download the MSI installer. This would take a minute to get it downloaded. The installation is very straightforward. You can double click on that MSI and it's going to install the required component automatically. The installation is finished and you can click on finish button that would actually conclude the installation. You can open PowerShell or you can open the command prompt to run the Azure uh, CLI. So I'm just opening command prompt. This is a normal command prompt. This is where you need to use the commands to log in and perform your Azure tasks. I will be using these are the commands to perform to create the virtual machine for the demonstration purpose. So as a first step, I need to log in. So to log into Azure portal by using Azure CLI, I need to enter some of the commands. So the first command I need to enter, the first command would be the AZ login. So I just enter AZ login. It's going to actually open up my Azure portal to uh, login. So in my case, uh, I need to use any of the browser as a default. So I'm just using the Chrome to log in. Just going to that, uh, resource so here i need to enter the login credentials now if you see here uh, this has been logged in and it's going to redirect within the 10 seconds to the azure cli documents page so now this has been signed in and you can check out here uh, the subscription details and all that would automatically come up here now before i do anything on the azure cli i wanted to show you that uh, the current resource groups that i have here so if you just go to the resource groups i have the resource groups as only these are the six different resource groups are there so i'm going to actually as you CLI commands to create one of the resource group to do that I'll simply press here as the a command called AZ, AZ group and create and the name of the resource group is here I'm entering my resource group so here if you see here there's no group called my resource group and the location of this is is yours so that's a command so it just created that it has executed perfectly so if I just refresh I should be able to see here that specific resource group let me refresh and if you see here my resource group is already populated here and the location is east use as we mentioned now as a next step uh, I wanted to execute the other commands also like I want to create a command uh, completely a VM so for that what I can do is I can type here AZ VM that's Azure VM and then create let's try to execute the uh, AZ VM create uh, is one of the CLI command line uh, to create the resource group uh, hyphen hyphen resource group and a hyphen hyphen name my VM and image is the uh, 2016 data center edition and I'm going to create in the Azure uh, user account and also the password as the admin dollar that's not going to work because the password required a complexity so let me put the complex password there that would actually work this time so once I have this uh, complex password it should actually work let's change that password to something a complex one really complex one and that should actually create for me a VM of within the my resource group and if you see here in the my resource group is just there but inside that there's nothing is there so 
it's gonna create in a minute or so if I just double click uh, the my resource group at this point of time there's no objects got created but in a minute or so it's gonna create for me all the required objects like your NSGs and network uh, network all that stuff everything is gonna you know get created so you have here the public IP is given as output and the private IP so that you know you know what's the um, uh, IP and you can connect it so these are the resource groups has been already created and simply I can uh, connect to this with the by using if I want uh, with the public IP but I'm not going to do that but before that I want to add one more command line how uh, just to add in NSG one of the RDP firewall rule to be enabled so to do that I'll just go to networking and then you see here there's no port uh, for exception for port 80 so I will be adding here uh, another command uh, for exception uh, like you know open port is the command vm open port I'm gonna actually open port uh, and give the port number and the resource group with the my VM as the name that's it it's gonna actually create a with an exception with the port 80 and that's how you're gonna create your NSGs if really needed and these are the commands you can go through the documentation to learn more if re if you're really interested and if you want to delete your uh, resource group you can simply use a command line uh, az a group delete um, that's a command and then give the name of your resource group so if I just refresh here I should be able to see my uh, port 80 specific one yeah it's there so as a next step I'm going to actually uh, delete the specific group which was created now I need to enter a command light uh, which is az group delete hyphen hyphen name and it's going to ask me all the confirmation so in my case that's a resource group so all these objects which are six different objects gonna delete it um, and you can go to the resource group and see my resource group is there uh, which is going to delete if I confirm as yes so hit enter as Y that's gonna actually delete that specific VM it's not just VM it's also all the contents of uh, your resource group so you see it's completed and if I just refresh um, it it will go off so it's just done and the same things also you can do it from Azure CLI which I'm gonna show you uh, from the browser based one the same comments also can be executed from direct cloud shell so the cloud shell is the direct portal you don't need to install and configure like this what we have done on this uh, machine instead you can directly use the cloud shell and here you can choose the either you want to use the CLI or the PowerShell so if I just switch to CLI I can do the same uh, commands can be executed for example I can simply create a, a resource group for example AZ group so the same commands there's no difference um, I can use here like simply hit enter that would actually create me um, resource group with the same name so uh, I can you know duplicate this uh, and I can refresh uh, here because if I, I try to refresh here I will be losing this shell so instead I can simply check out here you see here demo resource group has been created that is a my resource group with the ECUs so this is how you can use the CLI I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this